Oh my gosh, they, oh, there he goes. He ate it. It's a big one. It's a really big one. Wow, he has a whole bottom rig in his face. Okay, he ate it. Well, I've made it out here to the flats and it is freaking beautiful. Um, clear skies, I can see forever. I'm sure y'all can't hear me because it's windy. It's the Outer Banks. That's how it is. This is actually a calm day. I'll show you kind of what I'm working with. Without sunglasses, you can freaking see the bottom easy. So I'm going to hunt down some sheephead because they are very challenging on the flats, very skittish, super fun to target. I want to catch like an eight to 10 pound sheephead on the flats. That is like the, that's the goal. That's the dream fish. That's a pretty steep goal, but caught one almost eight last time I did this. Really, really good conditions. So we'll see what happens. So I'm approaching what looks like probably an old crab pot. Those are really, really good places to catch sheephead a lot of the time. They'll just hang out and sit on that crab pot. So I'm really, really easy. Okay, I see a sheephead up here sitting in a sand patch. Let's see if he does anything. Definitely, definitely should have staked my, uh, okay, he's going to the crab. I should have staked my kayak down is what I was saying, but I did not. It looks like a nice fish too. He's right on my crab, but I don't know if he's got it. Got him. Nice. Okay, looked up on the first one. <laughs> oh, there he goes. I was gonna say, they, they usually throw down. Crazy big. Got him. He was sitting up there in a sand patch and I was able to see him from a very, very long ways away. And that is the key to sheephead sight fishing is that you gotta be able to see them from a long ways off. They are way, way, way more skittish than redfish. Redfish are pretty stupid. First one of the day, probably about a 14, 15 incher. Turn him loose, right down into the grass he goes. Gonna get another fiddler crab rigged on here. Pretty simple, that's how I'm hooking him on there. 12 pound fluorocarbon leader is pretty important as well as a small hook because these flat sheep that are very, very skittish. So the bottom is really stirred up right here which could be just from stingrays but typically when you're in the good sheephead areas and you see stirred up water sand kicked up a lot of the time that's where the sheephead are sitting it's a i can't hardly see there's the water's so cloudy in this little spot where i assume there are some sheephead there's there's something there the wind is blowing the wrong direction for me to be super stealthy because the problem is i can't see looking behind me because there's clouds and i need to have the wind at my back ideally but we're making do something just splashed up there a lot of the time that's how the sheephead will give themselves away when they nose down to the bottom their tail will either break the surface or they will kick up a little boil when they're rooting around and you can see that from a lot further away than you can see the fish itself uh, no looks like looks like a school of mullet well i'll cut this back on whenever i see one there's a little one right here next to me and he's he's been he's not acting like he's afraid of the kayak which is really weird he hasn't seen my bait there he sees it holy cow he went right to it and he ate it Oh, should have let him eat it longer. Yeah, I should have let that one eat it a little longer, but this is what it is. Okay, I see what appears to be a very respectable redfish 
Wow, yeah, he spooked off my crab landing. This is crazy. I've, I've never really seen them be skittish, but I kind of want to try to catch this one. He looked pretty big. He's in here and see if I can spot him again. I think I still see him. He looked really nice. He was moving real slow. Oh yeah, there he is right there. That's a nice fish. Okay, he's coming toward the kayak, which isn't the best. I'll land that crab out there. Okay, we got it down there in the water. I don't think he can see it from where he's at. Gosh, yeah, it's a pretty good one. I mean, nothing special, but he should just be freaking pouncing on this crab is the thing. Maybe he just hasn't been able to spot it. Whoa, he actually spooked off of it. That's like a dang big redfish. He should be smashing this crab though. I think this is probably the first one I've ever seen from a distance. Can't get him to eat. That is really crazy. I'm gonna keep messing with him though. Cause I was talking crap on redfish being stupid. Now where is he at? Goodness, what a fish. That's probably why he won't bite. He's a nice fish. Got him. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a really big one for here for flats fishing. I gotta get this thing into the. I guess I'll get out. I don't know. I don't know if I should stay in the kayak. Here he comes. Man, that's a big fish. I don't know that I've ever hooked one this big from the kayak. Oh, he's very big. He's not giving up. I know that much. Come here, big guy. I want to go back to sheephead fishing. Come on. Come on. Okay, here we go. Wow. Yeah, that thing's like, gosh, that's way bigger than any redfish I've ever caught like this. Mm, I lost him. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look at that freaking thing. Hell yeah. Oh, wow, he's got a, wow, he has a whole bottom rig in his face. That's why he was acting so goofy. That's insane. I'm about to save your butt buddy look at that look at that that redfish that redfish had a two ounce pyramid weight with a wire leader stuck in his mouth holy cow that is so crazy yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna help you out buddy i do want to help you out i think all I'm really gonna be able to do for this guy is cut that. But what we're gonna do is stick him in the net and revive him a little bit. Because I don't wanna kill this fish. Because he's already probably not super strong because of the uh, the whole pyramid weight situation. See, he's pretty strong, you can tell. I mean, redfish are very, very resilient. That's that's why I got faith in this guy, hopefully making this out, making it out of this. Nah, that's like, nah, all I'm gonna be able to do is cut the wire as close as I can for him. 
That's too far into his stomach. I risk more chance of killing him trying to get the hook out. I'm sure his body's already starting to break it down. It's salt water anyway, that hook won't last very long. What a fish. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna take this camera off and try to take a picture with him. Okay, there he is. 26 inches is right there, so I mean he's he's well over 30, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's significantly bigger. I've caught them. I've caught them that barely hang off the board, but that one is a lot bigger than that. But you can see he's ready to go. He's probably super pumped that he doesn't have that huge lead weight hanging off of him anymore. And we're gonna send him on his way. Hopefully, he can fatten up now because he was kind of skinny. I think you got it. Got him. Man, I, I spooked that one. Like, 100% spooked him. But I just hung out. We're hooked up on another sheephead. About the same size, not, not very big. Hmm. Angry little guy. Got him. Measure him for anybody wondering what kind of fish we're catching as far as the small ones go. So yeah, he's like almost 14 inches right, right at it. So not a very big one, but really fun to catch sight fishing. Okay, I'll let that one go. Got one right in front of the kayak here. He's gonna bite, like for sure bite. <clears throat> Cause he hasn't seen me or anything. He's just feeding around in his little spot. Now he's cruising, spun back around. Oh, did I spook him? No way I spooked him. He ate it, chewing. Got him, no, he came off. Might be able to feed him another crab. Not so sure about that though. He's still there. But I hit him pretty hard. So anyway, where that fish was, we're on a grass flat. There's a little deep sand patch. It's probably about the size of a car. And that's where he had to set up shop. Okay, I just bumped a couple right here, but oh yeah, there's several. Good little wad of them right here. Oh, there he goes. Wow, he smoked it. Got him. Pull him away from his buddies because he's not very big. There's several more. Okay, another small one. When I let him go, I'm going to hope he doesn't go back to his buddies and scare him. We'll see. There's a nice redfish. That one bit how they're supposed to bite. so hard oh my goodness come on buddy I got other fish to catch man there we go shoot that's uh, that might be over too it's a nice one I'm gonna measure him if he's under I'm probably gonna keep him but gosh, he's pretty nice. We'll check him.
gosh, I don't know. I think that's a legal fish. Yeah, he's like 26 and a half. Sweet. Yeah, that's for sure. Like 26 and a half. Perfect one to keep because I'm trying to. I was letting go of the smaller uh, sheep head because if I'm going to kill something today, I was wanting to bring home a substantial amount of fillet. And those little sheep head, I just couldn't justify keeping them. I uh, was waiting for either a nice sheep head or this guy. So there we go. Okay, got that redfish bled out now. Now what I'm going to attempt to do is dig some ice out shove him down in the very bottom of the cooler it's not an easy maneuver see that right there takes some skill you don't just that's not just an everyday maneuver right there see now he's completely covered he's cold and he's not going to sit on top of my drinks so all i'm doing to find these sheep head you can see I'm on a grass flat right now. It is 1.9 feet deep according to my fish finder. And I'm just easing my way around, kind of hopping sand patch to sand patch right now. Um, I, I've seen plenty of sheephead just in the grass, cruising around in the grass, but today I have not seen them doing that. They all seem to be uh, relating to the sand patches in the grass so i'm kind of just looking out across the flats i'll spot a sand patch we got a few of them in here that i'm gonna comb through and you just kind of watch and see if you see a, a sheep head milling around in that sand patch and you do your best not to scare him and get situated to to cast a crab to him there's two monster stingrays right here holy cow check them out i knew i saw them they were buried up in the sand that's wild those are both monsters don't know what we got going on over here but something something just stirred up a lot of water right there i'm gonna try to ease in here and see what's going on oh there's a nice sheep head right there come on where'd you go still see him some more. It's just moving too much. Okay, we're gonna try a cast. Okay, lost him. Okay, got him. Ah, not a good cast. Okay, I need to stop the kayak. He doesn't know I'm here. Okay, he ate it, he ate it, he ate it, he ate the crab. He's got the crab. I'm gonna let him chew for a while. Okay, we got him on. It's a good one. Very nice sheep head. Please stay hooked, buddy. the fish I came out here for today I mean he's not he's not eight pounds but it's a very very respectable fish yep they take forever to catch <laughs> they're so strong Granted, I'm not pulling on him crazy hard, but that's because I can't. Oh my gosh, I see another monster one on a stingray right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need to catch this fish and then try to catch the other one. Holy cow. It's a freaking monster when we mark a waypoint. I'm going to try to just keep an eye on this other one while I fight this fish. Another monster one. I think the other one might be bigger than this fish. It's a nice fish. Uh, come on, got to catch your buddy over there. So yeah, I can see a, a very big one on a stingray right there and I'm trying to 
stay at the right distance because I mean on these flats if I lose that thing I'll never find it again even with the help of my GPS it's uh, you can't keep tabs on a moving feeding stingray but this sheep head is really giving me a hard time this is getting annoying now come on gosh okay I still see the stingray Got that one. Got that one. That's a that's a good fish right there. He's probably five five pounds or so. I need to cut this line and put a new hook on here. Deal with this fish in a second. But I need to go and try to hook this other fish. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this hook on. I'm pretty sure I still see this other stingray. If not, I okay. Yeah, I still see him. Hopefully that other nice sheep head is still with him. Stingray is milling around. Okay, got that hook on there. Gonna grab a big fat fiddler crab. Really hoping that this other sheep head is with him still. Because if he is, I, I think I can get him to bite if he's He's still with him. Okay. Stingray's right here. Let's see if I can see this sheep head. Oh my gosh, that's a big sheep head. Okay, he didn't see it, and I got a big clump of grass. Okay, I still see him. Okay, he ate it. I don't know if he's that big, but he's got it. He's nice. Okay, I hooked him. He feels pretty darn big right now. I'm gonna see what I can see if there's other ones. It looks to be about the same size as the one that I have right now but I can't tell for sure. But what I'm gonna need to do now is attempt, attempt during this fight to bleed this other fish because he's gonna, he's gonna die before I get this one and then he won't bleed. He's got a bunch of grass on my line, but I'm not sure if y'all can see that fish out there or not. Okay, all right, got his gills cut. Try to get him out of the kayak before he starts bleeding in the kayak. Okay. I'm gonna hook him to here. Okay, got that. Okay, so we got him hooked up in the water, so he's bleeding. Now we gotta fight this one. Be cool if I got him quick. I don't see that happening. <laughs> Psych, he says. Oh, there's another big one with him. <laughs> they start following each other sometimes when you uh, hook one. There was another one about the same size as this guy was chasing him. It's pretty common. When you're on the flats, they, they find each other somehow. Try to scoop him in with the other friends. Got them both. Took me all day. Finally got on some. I went past these fish earlier too. There we got both the nice ones in the net there. Hello, hello. Yeah, they're pretty upset. I would be too. I let both of them swallow it because I knew I was probably going to be keeping these ones if I got them. Glad I released those other smaller fish because now we got those bad boys. I don't know if y'all can see them, but those two were on that stingray right there. 
Look, he still doesn't want to leave. There he is right there. Smaller fish. I definitely, definitely, definitely just stumbled into the, the biomass of sheephead. I've been looking around the whole time I've been here trying to find them, and it's incredible. You search all over on the flats, and then they're just in one area for whatever reason. Right, just so you know what we're working with, these are the two that I just caught, those two nice ones. This, I believe, is the smaller of the two. Eighteen and a quarter on that smaller one. And the larger of the two is going to be... 20 and a quarter. Two very nice sheephead to uh, round out my fish box. I, like I was saying, I, I'm not really crazy about keeping those 14 inchers when I don't need to. And in this size fish, the yield makes it much more justifiable, in my opinion, to keep them. Just gonna leave this running now because I know I am in a really good area. I'm seeing, I'm seeing ripples and stuff, boils, and usually when you're seeing that and you're in the sheephead area, I think I already said this earlier, but usually that's kind of your, your giveaway to sneak into a location. Mm, that's kind of, oh yeah, 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 it's a big one, it's a big one. Why is he swimming so damn fast? Oh, there's more than one, I'm gonna get one. Oh, there he goes. He ate it. It's a big one. It's a really big one. Oh, no. That's why you don't set the hook quickly on him. Uh, but I, I'm planning on releasing at this point. That one was bigger than the other two I've caught, though. But, yeah, I mean, trying not to kill him. So, is what it is. Yeah, if you if you want to for sure get them, you don't do that. So yeah, that was a pair. The one that I had, one that I just lost, he was he was nice. He he wasn't a wasn't an eight pounder, but he could have been six or seven. Pretty sure he was bigger than the other ones. I, I got a really, really good look at him when he ate, so but yeah, that's, that's an unfortunate part of sheephead fishing. They just got really, really tough mouths. Well, that's all she wrote. Landed five sheephead, three redfish. Probably could have caught a lot more redfish if I wanted to target them. Once I went out a little deeper, there were tons of them, but I was mostly trying to catch sheephead today. I knew I would incidentally catch some, uh, catch some redfish just because they are everywhere. Lost that big one right there at the end. Kind of disappointing, but not the end of the world because like I said, they're tough to hook. I'm gonna need to experiment some more with the hooks I use for this, but I haven't found a good way to uh, to hook them consistently fishing for them on the flats. They eat so funny, and then uh, obviously you're using a light rod, so you can't drive a big hook into them like you normally do when you're fishing around bridges and whatnot. I can hook nearly all of them if I let them swallow it, but you know, after I've got what I want to eat, I'm gonna try to set the hook so it hooks them in the lip. Same with the little guys. Uh, try to hook them right away. So I, I lost just as many as I caught today, which is Not what I had experienced before but when I caught them the last time I was keeping all of them So I was letting them eat it for a really long time. Anyway Hope y'all enjoyed some flats sheephead fishing pretty unique You need that right there is the main thing and that's the hardest part of it, but enjoyed it glad I was here for it